So you're ready to get started and move to Dubai or you're considering it, but you have one big question. How long will the entire process take? Let's walk you through this step by step so you can know exactly what to expect. So number one, the first thing we like to do here at Jensen with our clients is get on a discovery call. Usually people just book down below and you can get on a call with us. And on this call, we like to see exactly what you want to do with this business, what kind of structure you want to have, who is in this business, what other shareholders will be a part of this, what other companies may be a part of this, and of course, what activities will your business have. With all of this information, we're able to properly structure your company, properly submit the correct documents for your company and for the shareholders of the company, and properly determine what area in the UAE to register your business. If it's in a free zone, in a mainland, and if it's in a free zone, which one? Here at Genzone, we know all of them and we know exactly which one is best suited for you. So once our team structures your company properly and submits all of these documents to the government, then all we have to do is wait for your company formation documents to come back to us. And this should only take about three to five business days. And once we have this, we'll provide a link to you so that you can have all of these documents digitally and you don't have to actually get them physically. And I do want to confirm that this step you can do from any Anywhere around the world you do not have to be in Dubai and the next step as well you don't have to be in Dubai because all we have to do is issue you an e-visa now you might be wondering why would you even need an e-visa if your passport allows you to go to Dubai without a visa well the difference is this is not a regular tourist visa this is an employment visa and to get your e-visa we have to submit documents to the government and then after two to five business days we should have this issued the e-visa document looks like this and we suggest to all of our clients to actually print this out physically before coming to Dubai so that you can present it at customs they'll stamp it and let you through. And it's really important to use this document when you're going through the border because it allows you to enter the country as an employee of your company, the company that we are registering for you and not as a tourist. And if you do have your e-visa and went through the border without stamping this, you forgot, don't worry, it's not a big deal. It'll just take one day to switch your visa from tourist visa to employed visa. And you don't have to worry if this happens to you, we'll handle this for you, it's not a big deal. Now the next part of the process is to complete your medical exam and your biometrics appointment. Now the standard timeline can take between three to four to even five business days, which is basically a week to complete the entire thing. Now here at Genzone, for us, this is a non-negotiable. We have a VIP process for this to get both appointments done in one day and get both of these results in one day so we can proceed with the next step. We work directly with the people who book appointments at these centers so that we can get you priority booking and you don't have to spend a week just waiting for literally just these documents to be processed. So once we have your medical results and your biometrics, we submit this to the government and wait between 24 to 48 hours to get your official residency and after this, Congratulations, you're officially a resident of the UAE. And at this point, we'll go ahead and request your Emirates ID to be printed and shipped to your location wherever you are in Dubai. All you have to do is wait between two to three business days to receive your ID card. And then from there, we can go ahead and proceed with the final step, which is banking. If you try and do banking on your own, this could be a nightmare. And if you did anything wrong in the previous steps, well, you might not even be able to get a bank account open. There's a lot of horror stories of people saying, I am not able to get a bank account in Dubai and there's a reason for it is because they messed up one of the previous steps which of course we will not mess up now your personal bank account on your own this might take you months to get open but with us we're able to do it with a major bank in as quickly as one day with Emirates NBD for example and then your corporate bank account shouldn't take too long it should take under one week to have that open now once your accounts are open you literally just have to wait for your cards to come in the mail but if you really didn't care about them you can just leave the country at this point but of course, if you want your cards, your debit cards, credit cards, just wait for them to come in the mail. It should take about three to four business days for these to come in. So if we look over the entire timeline, it should take about 1.5 weeks outside of Dubai and then about one to two weeks inside of Dubai to complete the entire process. But if you're a VIP client and you don't want to wait all this time and you want to get it done even quicker, the process can be cut down in basically 50% of the time. So if you want to learn exactly how to do this and you're ready to move to Dubai, then make sure to book a call with us down below and we would be more than happy to get on a call with you.